Um, and now I alluded to the Saskatchewan election, yes. which um, it was funny because I was reading, I think it was the Star Phoenix yesterday, the Saskatchewan newspaper, and they said something like race tightening in Saskatchewan. And I'm like, tightening, tightening. I, I, I'm looking at the numbers here and the Saskatchewan party was approaching 60 percent of the uh, vote share. And that was yesterday, like projections. Um, but Scott Moe's Saskatchewan party uh, pulled down 50 seats, leaving the NDs with just 11. And those are largely rural government riding uh government riding places everybody else was decimated but the real story here is uh the buffalo party right the buffalo party um they only ran 17 candidates because they just formed three months ago and then the election dropped now it looks like they finished low but they finished third in the vote popular vote but here's the thing they finished four in or they finished second in four ridings in cannington they came in second with 16 percent in cypress hills they came in with 20 percent in estevan they got 26 percent they have no money they ran only 17 candidates out of 61 in kindersley they came in second with 15. they're not a fringe party anymore and i know there are a lot more people who likely would have voted for them if they weren't concerned about a vote split happening and the ndp running up the middle so that's the real story here yeah i mean i think you speculated earlier sheila that this buffalo party might um get into um the range of potentially being the official opposition in another election or two we'll see but t yep. t tell us sheila for those not um you know savvy to the nuances of saskatchewan politics who are the buffaloes what do they stand for what are they all about so the buffalo party is the separatist party so they are con a conservative party um they are a separatist party they are also advocating in the interim for a more um quebec-like deal for alberta why does quebec get all this sovereignty over issues that normally the federal government has control of why can't we do that here um they they advocate for that kind of things and you know saskatchewan is a very conservative place and so it's natural that conservatives are a, a pro sovereignty yeah. pro taking care of yourself looking after yourself personal responsibility keeping government closer to where you live and not somewhere in Ottawa, where they don't understand anything about you. Um, the Saskatchewan party, they did capture 70% of the vote outside of the two urban areas. Mm. Um, but um, that that Buffalo party is, I, I cannot stress enough, they only were formed 90 days ago. And they're taking home a quarter of the votes in Estevan? That's crazy. Um, Scott Moe better pay attention to them. Uh, that's what I think.